Hi guys, another podcast with TZ7. Welcome guys, it's the Lion Video Podcast. It's been episode 3. It's been like 2 weeks since we done this the last time. Are you drunk? I'm not fucking drunk. Are man. you sure? No, but I'll give you a, a, a drink. Have you been yeah. sleeping? I mean, I passed out like... I passed out 2 hours. Yeah. Where did you go? I didn't go. I was at work. I was working. He's lying. I'm not lying. Where were you? I was busy with sales. Really? Yeah, with my sideline business. Cause, cause of lockdown and yeah, times are tough. So you gotta make a, you gotta make a living. You know? What? What is what is lockdown now? Like, is it lockdown? I think level minus three. <laughs> cause of corruption and. Niggas stealing money and shit. The bank said like three point fucking four point fucking five point six like that. I don't fuck anymore. I don't know what the fuck he said. You don't fuck anymore. Can you pass me the lighter, man? You smoke some toxic shit. And yeah, I love you know you know me how I am. Anyways, man. Cheers. Welcome to the podcast. A nine day podcast. What about Trump getting the COVID? That cocky motherfucker. Just before I took my drink, you should let me take my drink before I could digest that. You didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that, bro. What happened with him? Nigga's too cocky. Him and uh, what's the other uh, lining president? What, Mike Pence? No, fuck Mike Pence, man. Joe Biden? Joe Biden. They both got it. They had the. No, no. They had like a. Freaking um, debate, debate uh, about who's better. Oh yeah, they do that every year in election, yeah. year, right? They go so cocky, bruh. Trump, he can, he has everything sorted. He's got all the COVID patients. Numbers are coming down. That's this nigga. I kind of like Trump. About Sakilas, but, but anyway, <laughs> it was like three days later, bro. COVID, he, him, and his fro. Fro means wife. Him, <laughs> him and his fro, bruh. Yeah, but we got a COVID. Straight up. That's it, bro. I have to wish him well. Yeah, I mean, he's the president. Bro. Yeah, no, he you is. You know what I mean? But uh, I really was really hoping it maybe at least. He's a, a good guy. I'm not gonna say that he's no, a bad he guy. I haven't watched all of his interviews and shit like that. So I haven't been following him so much because we have uh, we have SA, we have our own president. Who we should follow. No, I literally it. give a fuck about who wins. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, mm. But I mean, like. We should give our president more time and more attention and no, listen to him. That's true. Not like you give a fuck about him. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Isn't he a billionaire? He owns all of. Like most of the McDonald's in here. No. They probably ban, you know, those stencil. This is expensive. That was a billionaire, you say. You probably run expensive, expensive shit. But this is expensive? This is expensive, but this is medium expensive. Well, level one lockdown, people are broke, bro. Like, a bottle of Hennessy is five clips, so. Is that not expensive? We're still the resorting yeah. to Clip Drift and Captain Morgan and Clip Drift Premium as our. As our highest buy, like we're not gonna say, hey, well, Hennessy five clubs. Got a family to feed, bro. <laughs> got a family to feed. Got a hustle. You got a hustle. We got a hustle, bro. Got a hustle, yeah. True. Which is the truth. Yeah. Hey, you want me more fools as well? Me, I give a fuck. You can call who the fuck you wanna call. You can call the cops. You can call whatever the fuck you wanna call. Me, this is my house. I don't want. So, cut your own guys. You're getting something. Yeah, it's our rights, the house. To do what the fuck we want to do with our own personal space. Mm. You know what I mean? I sing this one song today. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, yeah, shook the fire. Yeah, no. Yeah? We're actually gonna get powdered. Oh, Pollard means man. drunk. So you better follow me more for all of these uh, special words. <laughs> Pollard. Yeah, Pollard. He's actually explaining all these words yeah. so well. Like, 
we're gonna get polar but i'm like a little bit slow now because i just woke up like this guy he just rock up i just woke up and i was like as you can see nigga needed his beauty sleep i was like he needed his beauty sleep but this time i got a beautiful haircut you can see i look fresh as fuck how the fuck is anybody gonna see you with with your cap being on show them i can't Every time you do, yeah, every time one of you do this, every time we have a podcast, you want me to show my hair. There's only me and you, so who's everybody? Check it out and show them. This, it's my hair. See, like, it's, it's average handsome, man. Eh? I know. I'm over handsome. Ah, average. Don't be so cocky. Over handsome. As you're going by, uh, I even forgot what we were talking about. You know, um,. I was talking to someone and they said I have an accent. Okay. Do I have an accent? No, they're lying. They're fucking crazy. They're lying. <laughs> they're fucking crazy. They're right? lying. Because <laughs> when I used to work for the call center a few years back, I told my mind when I go home, that was after two days of being in the call center, I told my mind when I go home, I'm going to tell my parents I am going to speak like a white person. That is so bullshit because I know. you can't speak like a white There's no way you can speak like a white person. A white person I went speaks home. the way a white person speaks. I went home. No, but no offense to no all offense. the white people because when white people speak, it's just more assertive and more exotic. Right. Exotic. I went home. I was like, who's there? I was like, Lewin Muriel, ma. She's like, how? Mlungu, <laughs> how? Where's the jar? I was like, she's ma, the it's me, you. ma. She's the Zulu on you. I was like, oh. I was like ma, what did you cook for, like, uh, supper? She's like, she's like, chicken curry. <laughs> chicken curry, ma? <laughs> Something white snack, mother? Can I have it with some, like, brown bread? Yeah. <laughs> It was bus my accent, bro. I know it might not be that great, but I never had an accent. I don't know. Yeah. Some people, I think, guess because I don't talk that much. Because when I'm always, but people see me, they always think that I have an accent. What? Why do you need to have an accent when everybody's different? You just gotta be yourself. Yeah. No, I think because people don't hear me a lot speaking. You know, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't speak a lot in public. Like I don't go out and. Nah, meet up with people and stuff like that so I think when people hear me speak it's because the words I use and stuff like that there and then I, I'm able to keep my sentences straight but you come from like a from like a good working background where people yeah like I speak proper English yeah like, 100% I don't speak like the, the slangs more, more, most of the time I don't speak the slang when, when we're alone like yeah. I'll tell you you know like the same be like, hey, you bitch, whatever yeah. the fuck it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they're still English. I'm ha- really, you see me, you, I'll, see, I'll say a slang to you. But it's not like you, uh, it's not like you're going door to door sales. Uh, I don't insult anybody. Like, my uh, self, like, yeah. coming out of a wrong situation, like, mm. without having no experience whatsoever about sales. In sales, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna go door to door and be like. So how do you succeed in say in sales? What's the relationship you build in sales? It's a very good question. A very good question. Because I mean, like uh, most people out there, I mean they start stuck without a job. I mean they might be, they were trying to sell something, but they need sales skills. Like I'm not a person that's good with sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you are. But I don't know how you do it. You gotta have a good relationship with the customer. You gotta have a good relationship, be it speaking about the product or speaking outside of the product. Okay. So suppose, okay. So you gotta like be, in essence, uh, some sort of like uh, uh, humble to the to the client. Just say, uh, I am selling you this Hennessy. Yeah. I give a fuck about the Hennessy. Yeah. I am talking about other topics. I'm yeah. talking about your family, 
How's sure. your mind? Okay. How's your blue? Okay. Okay. Maybe your I catch on. Your hundred percent. Then you get familiar yeah. with the with the with the customer. Then after right? you'll be like, uh, I have this product. I'm selling to you. I'm I'm like I'm like hustling. Yeah. And then the aunt be like, okay, great. This guy has a good connection with me. Yeah. He has a he has a a uh, kind heart towards me. So let me just buy from him. Yeah. Be it. I have my last hundred and in my pocket. Yeah. I am just going to spend the whole hundred and on him because he's a very good, genuine person. Sure. Am I not right? Oh, that makes sense. It does make sense. That makes complete sense. And then, if you go to some stores, like big chain stores, the people are like frustrated and they just had a long day at work and they just take it on on you. I have seen it when you go to them. Even though they are angry towards you, they're just like so kind towards them. Never mind, cause they had a hard day at work and stuff like that. Am I not right. right? Yeah, no, you're right. Even if they take off towards you, you just be like, I had a better day than them, so why should I take off with them? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So you establish a relationship with the client, and then I've also I've also learned it. From you, no, you kind of learned sales from me. No, uh, no, not sales from you, but other simple skills like being kind towards a person, even though they are angry towards you, cause they had a harder day at work than you. Hundred percent. That's true, but sometimes I'm a little bit fucked up. Yeah, no, hundred <laughs> percent. But everybody's different. Everybody's so different. So this is when I'm, I get a bit cranky when I'm off work and I come but off work. But even though, just say a cashier, like specifically, like like checkers. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do that. I no, always ask them. Just about say, uh, just say a a cashier at, at like checkers. Mm-hmm. As soon as you see them, they're like a bit tense and thing. But after you talk to them, yeah, how was the day? They, Hello, how was the day? Like the next the thing they start smiling, smiling and, and speaking to us, yeah. speaking up towards you and yeah. stuff like that. I uh, I noticed that like the most people because you know, think about the the people that are working in in like garages, like those, those consultants. You work the whole night, Bro. and when you go in there maybe at night or something, and then you find something, they're tired as fuck, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So you like. Greet them how's the night, make a small joke, conversation, conversation whatever. Not even, not even a long conversation because yeah. you know you're about to So while this thing scanning the stuff, just make a joke or something, you know. Mm. Hey, you know, I, they need to pay you more when it's cold, eh? Yeah. Yeah. You know, things like that and then eventually they'd be like, as long as you just make them smile for that time. And people lighten up after that. They just lighten up. The next so customer they, just feels yeah, yeah. yeah. Even the next customer be fucked up to them, they cool. They're cool. Yeah. Cool. Just that one that one part of someone makes you feel better, then you cool at it. Very true. Because I worked in retail for let's say the past three years. Bro, you get some people who are so arrogant and so nasty towards you. But I can understand they they uh they point of uh, view. Yeah, that's yeah. a customer. They're also coming from a, a long day at work and sometimes when I go at the back of the shop and I take long to bring out the product, people are frustrated. Yeah. And sometimes the system is offline, then I have to do a manual sale and people are angry. Yeah. I can't be angry towards them. Yeah, you can't. Because that is if that happened to you and you was in a hurry, you would get angry. Hundred percent. And yeah, same same scenario. But sometimes you have such genuine people who they don't give a shit about the time. They like take your time. Don't worry about it. Don't stress. I know. You know what I'm saying. Some things go bad. Like such the the system goes offline, and sometimes we don't have that specific product in the store. Then we have to order from another store. So simple situations like that. People understand. Some people. Some people. Some people, and some people don't understand. Okay. But it's fine. Yeah, it is. They will get to uh, understand, like. Yeah, I know. I you understand what I'm yeah, saying. I understand like, what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. But uh, I mean, that's uh, some some people's situations are different, and most of the time, 
You just got to consider the next person's feelings. But you can't undermine anybody's job. That's true. You can't. Everybody is doing something to make a living. Bro. Yeah, and everyone's job is important. 100%. Especially for yourself. Yes. Because if you interact with someone who's doing their job, that means you are there because that person is working there. But sometimes, I'm not going to lie, sometimes uh, when I, uh, I used to be in retail, and uh, so currently I, I uh, started with the sales stuff, mm. I actually feel, you know, mentally, I think I'm a bit embarrassed, but then I actually think about my family and I have to provide for them. So another instinct like comes up, you feel like, you have to be more confident. You have to make it today. Yeah. You have to sell something today. That's true. You gotta, you gotta you put food put, up yes, on, on the, the table. table yeah. You gotta buy energy today. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's true. That's how that's how my mindset is. Regardless when when whatever the case is, I have to get up and I, I work regardless. I can I have the freedom. Sorry, to, bro. Today the topics are just flying. Yeah. I just uh, I just want to speak about. Uh, I wasn't hardcore at first because I didn't know the game the way I should have. Right. So we're talking about the sales game. Yeah, the sales 100%. game. I didn't know the 100%. game. The way I should have. Mm-hmm. So when I got into it, I was a very quite, well, I was very like angry person. I would say, I had a what would you say? What 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 what's the word for noxious? I think that's the right word. Okay, you can say that. Noxious person. Like if you if you say something to me, like I get offended immediately. You get upset. That's how sales work for me. <clears throat> so when I got in the game, I was I wasn't into. I always felt like, you know what, this and this and this and this, don't say this to me, don't say that to me, don't say that to me. Eventually, over a few, two, three months, I realized, okay, if I need to make more sales, I need to get the people who are afraid of me to come more closer so that they can buy from me. 100%. 100%. If they're afraid from me, they're going to come to me, they're going to go to the next salesman and buy. They won't be yeah, afraid I mean, of you anymore. They just come to Terence. Because Terence is a kind person. Yes. Yeah, so then now, so. I developed a whole new plan. And you had a, you had a different relationship to us. I had a different relationship to us. Yes. I, but some of them were very much. I'm not saying like that. But I yeah. didn't always overstep my head. But I did always put people in place. Mm. Yeah. And I had to pay a lot of people off. So, But you can't, was, uh, you can't always be kind. Yeah, you can't always be yeah. kind. You have to put the record straight sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah, some I'm, people are. They just don't want to change. Nobody wants to change. Most of the people don't want to change. Yeah, like uh, it's weird. Like some of the stories from back in my day is crazy, 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 crazy stories. And some of things we can't discuss. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, like I remember we used to, like. <clears throat> Damn, it was like fucking crazy. <laughs> like, I gotta remember, I wanted to uh, write a book about. Uh, first, I wanted to write a book about, about my life. And then I was like, as I was writing it, I wrote like five pages. And I was like, holy shit, I can't put this out. You know what I mean? This shit is too deep. Yeah, it's too deep. Maybe I can write it and then leave it aside. You know, when I die. Then release it. Bro, I guarantee you, the most gruesome, arrogant person in the world has emotions. Yeah, they do. Everyone has emotions. Bro. As long as you know how, how to get his soft spot, you will get him. You will break him down. Yeah, true. You will break him down. Yeah. I did a lot of that too. A lot of you will. <clears throat> Just by words. Just by words. Just by words, I break you down. Once, once you get to them mentally, the whole situation is dispersed. The whole situation is, is dispersed, is torn apart or it's whatever. torn apart. Like so, that's how I took out, took out, but then they were like also partnerships you had to build. Mm. Like you couldn't go in certain areas and sell your product, say selling peanuts, right? So, 
and someone else is also selling peanuts, they package peanuts in that area. Now you're a dodge dodge salesman and you're selling in this particular area and that person also goes in that particular day and sells there. Now you want to take over that day because you've got customers there and you know your product is better than them and you've got a cheaper product but you've got a higher quality of product and more quantity. So what do you do? So what do you do? You say, okay, cool. What I'll do is I'll reduce it to make it a lower price but a low quantity, same quantity but lower price. 100%. What is selling? 100%. And so I'll go to the, the place, but then I meet the salesman and then I did so, so you don't want to have a conflict there now. What you do is you have to build a you have to build a a mutual agreement with the salesman. These are people that have that have already established their customers there. So what you do, you build a mutual agreement with them amongst the areas to say, okay, I'm allowed to come in this area and do it, but I'm not allowed to affect your business in any way. So you can eat, I can eat. Everyone can eat. It's a very hard thing to do. It's a very hard thing to do. But bro, everybody wants to be rich. But nobody wants to do the hard work. Yeah, no one wants to do the hard work. Like, I was... Like, I was dirt poor. Yeah, yeah, sure. I was dirt poor. No, for serious, I was like dirt poor. I didn't even know. I was with you. To yeah. the dirt poor situation. You were. Yeah. But I was a little fucked up. I was... But it was a happy day. time. It was a happy time. It was, I, I feel like the more poorer I was, the more happier I was. Bro, you remember how happy we actually were? Like, I actually feel like, like sometimes the more, the more wealth I gained to my name, mm. the less happy I am. Remember, like, off the spur moment, like, when, when you should say, let's just hire a, uh, a cab or... And over to to uh find get some KFC. Yeah, it was the most like happiest. It was thing like ever. the happiest Bro, thing everything. Now we can just have it like this. We can just have it like and now it's just it's, boring. It's bruh. boring. It's, it's boring. Like, come on, like if if we could go to like like Durban, it was like something out of the <laughs> fucking. It was a big mission. It was like once in a year type of thing and it was like, hey, this shit, we're going to delve into that, we're going to delve into that, you know, like... We but can, now we can just go. Yeah, now we can, and now we can just go in our car and just rock up there. We're not saying that uh, we are rich people or we are millionaires, but God has given us... Sufficient. The, yes, God has given us the sufficient... But for me, what I feel, I, 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 honestly, to go. that's the absolute truth. Though, mm. that the fact that the more the poorer I was, the more happier I was. Even though I had all this trauma in me, I was happy. So happy I was there. happy at where I was. I mean, uh, because I, I knew the achievement that I was gonna get. Yes. I had this mindset of this yes. achievement that I will attain. Now that you have it, now it's a whole different situation. It's I I still have that, but yeah. I don't feel it joy and happiness you understand all i seek is wealth and gain and material stuff it doesn't feel happiness yeah. i think once you attain that level there you only you realize that's not that's not the important things in life you only seek two things what do you say wealth and uh wealth and gain so wealth, wealth, wealth and material and gain. You uh you uh, didn't add up happiness. You didn't add up happiness. Yeah. Bro. You only like uh, Yeah, that's true. When we had nothing. When we should everything. like uh, I, I, I We had everything. When we had nothing. When we had everything. nothing, we had everything. But now when you have everything, you have nothing. We have nothing. When we should wake up and like have toast and like black tea, that was everything. That was everything. That was everything, bruh. On like a, on like a, a cold, cold winter's day, yeah. and it's like rainy and we just wake up, we just watch a, a simple movie and we just have toast and tea and just chill. That's it. And yeah. just record music and just have conversation. That, that was everything. Everything. Now we have heaters, we have exotic computers, we have a car, we yeah. have, we have, we have channels, these, we have music, we have podcasts, we have everything, we have, we have cars, we have fucking... You drive a Mercedes, I drive a BMW. 
Like, right. I mean, so like, yeah, like, sure. what the fuck, bro? Like, we're not happy in life. We're still not happy. Like, I mean, I'm not happy in life. It's not like where I wanted to be. I was happy with you. I was happy way before. True. But I was should... happy when I didn't have that. Yeah. Yeah. When you didn't have a When a, a, when a friend would come with, to me, to see me with a car, and say, you know what, let's Bro, go out. it's such an excitement. It was like... It's such an excitement. My God, like... It's an excitement because now I haven't seen this friend in so, so long. How much I bet you, when the friend didn't message you on any, like, social media or call you, when you just open your window and just see him there by the gate, you'd be like, hey, my prize, yeah. Yeah. Let's just boost. Let's just boost. Let's just, just buy. hundred percent. Like there, yeah. Now you have your own car, you take your own keys, you'll be like, own oh, house, own car, everything, you just what the fuck you need to do. It's like, it's like nothing. It's, and then, then the, you realize you get more sick as you get older and you get more, like, sustainable. Yeah. yeah. We weren't this, this, like, ill before. Yeah, it wasn't. We're so young. We weren't mentally ill. Mentally ill. The mentally, this mental illness is like, us being, Mentally ill is making our body weak. That's true. You, I know you agree with me. I do agree with you. I know you agree with me. But sometimes it's also our, our mindset of how we mm. set ourselves up. Because we focus so much on work, 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 when work, you have, work, work, work. When you have one goal, is to make money. We need to make a second goal, which is to make, which is to create happiness. Yeah, that's true. We but create I happiness. always... You see, how I, re- I reached that point in my life is where I, I had to block out the happiness part because I knew if I, had, if I had that happiness part in my life, then I would be satisfied. And then I would I like regret that. it I like in that. my 60s, 70s. I like that. And said, what if? You understand what I mean? What if? You would have been. It's not too late for yeah. us to find happiness. I'm not saying that we young, we young men, you know what I mean? It's not late. Too late for us to find happiness, but there's a certain level of attraction, or let's just say a woman. Right? If you want to get a woman, to a woman, I'm just saying. I got a girlfriend. I got a wife. Okay, I understand that. Right. right. But for me, like, for me, there needs to be a certain like. There's a standard like I need to have an intellectual conversation. I like that. You understand? I Back like in the day, I need to have an actual relationship. Say, fuck you, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, I was like, hey, you know what? This thing. But now, it's like, okay, cool. I need to have an intellectual conversation with you. Yeah. When I'm, because I'm thinking about, if I marry you, in my 50s and 60s, when we can't have sex anymore, what the fuck are we going to do? We're going to divorce? No, I, I knew exactly. What? Exactly. So we exactly. have to talk about shit. Yeah. Even if, even if you don't know what the fuck I'm saying, add your opinion and say, okay, tell me more, and then I'll give you my opinion. Just as we like when we conversate, we say things like, um, you know what? Um, you heard about this thing. You heard about that thing. Mm-hmm. Let's just say we're talking about Everglades. If Everglades, Everglades is where the uh, the, the Americans is like big swamps and stuff there and they they took these uh, Indonesian uh, snakes and they put them there because they were getting extinct and they were grew massively in size I just hate snakes bro yeah bro they are massive in size like this size yeah like this and now they became super predators in there in that swamps like anacondas they be anacondas are like not that big but yeah like somewhere somewhere like that size like a python size Right, they became like super predators. And now, the crocodiles, there's no food no more because they're both eating. The crocodiles are eating the food. Not crocodiles, are what? They don't have crocodiles, they have what? Alligators. Alligators. Sure. So they have alligators and they have um, these uh, snakes. And these snakes have now, from the small breed, have grown now because the warmth of the area. And they've, they've evolved. Grown, they've evolved to the area. And now they've, they're because they're not those. from the area, they eating more from the area, so they eat more. Now the cro- the alligators have less food to feed, so then they both now are attacking each other as super predators. So one predator is eating another predator. So 
So one time you'll see, okay, alligator eats a snake, a snake eats an alligator. But bro, isn't that what's happening in the world today? Like, yeah, like, uh, it is. Like Julius Malema and like Cyril Ramaphosa and Joe Biden and... Uh, but Parliament is really funny. I've seen Parliament. No, I haven't. Eh? I haven't. Pa- pa- Parliament is so funny. I don't know what the shit you are talking about. Whether it is a BMW or a Mercedes Benz or... What are you talking about? No. What is it? Like... You know what's Parliament? You live in South Africa. Oh, Parliament? Yeah. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> what the fuck are you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you some other race, like, could no. you say it properly like Parliament? I did say it properly like Parliament. I, I promise you I said it properly like Parliament. You reckon? What did I say? I don't know. What did I, say? I don't know what you said. You reckon like Honda Ballad. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell you said, bro? No, sure, it's Parliament. Yeah, sure. Yeah, like, it's like, I agree with all parties on certain points. But you disagree. Some on some points I disagree with all of them. Niggas are funny, bruh. They're so funny. Hey, like exotic funny. Bruh. Like I know. Like I don't have a political uh this thing. Point of view. Point of view yeah, in sure. South Africa, but I love to watch those parliamentary because they determine the actions in South Africa. Mm-hmm. But there are certain things, there's corruption and stuff that's going on in South Africa that some of a lot yeah, some of the politicians actually stand up for. Like yeah, some of them. And some of them go overboard with it. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's not my place to you to say because I don't know the facts of it. Mm-hmm. It's all allegations. It's politics. It's politics. And you don't know what the media portrays you. You don't know if that person is really placing that in context or not placing that in context. Or placing out of context or in context. Media is so freaking messed up, bro. So messed up. It's That's why I don't get my stuff in this thing. Like, I just like. I watch um, my own YouTube videos. I actually watch Parliament myself, the entire thing, to see what the hell is going on. And then find my own point of view. Then think snip sound bites from everything. Because, bro, if I go on social media and just say somebody got murdered today, what specific, like, uh, this guy was in his house and somebody came to rob him. Tomorrow, somebody tell me a different story, like, this guy stole from somebody and those guys came back to attack him. So, social media and it's media messed up. is messed up, bro. Nobody's telling you the, the uh, truth yeah, about like, that. Nobody's telling you the truth about that, that. that. Like, I had this one conversation once with a friend and I said, uh, um, there was this, this baby that was left outside the home of child about that right now the mother left obviously the mother just abandoned the child there right so then i saw this there was this post on like this thing and then so i know my friends were like sharing it and saying you know what um that these po- that this lady must must find who she is and we must uh kill her or this thing she's evil i said okay fair enough but understand the situation for context. She didn't throw the child in the river. She didn't kill the child. She didn't throw the child in the dustbin. She put it by the child's bucket door. Maybe she couldn't support herself. Maybe she's living on the streets. Maybe she's... But couldn't she uh, speak up? Yeah, but but I'm saying, what what is, what is wrong is you can't put a wrong and a wrong together. 100%. You can't say. You don't know the person personally. You don't know what the person is going through. Now, imagine someone in the community, right, knows the person that had a baby. And suddenly, she doesn't have a baby, right? Now, they figure out it's her baby that's there. What is, what is the go- community going to do now? Because now the social media is saying no that the baby was abused then the story changed the baby was abused this is that then this will happen and this happened to the baby but it's just not the actual story you understand what i mean now what's going to happen with the community the community is going to gang in the mob and they're going to kill this lady viciously off the topic for 500 and this thing takes shit but anyway but anyway how can you say that bro 
Nobody knows. So I was trying to debate with my friend like that. Right. And uh, what was his point of view? His point of view was like, no, that um, uh, she must die because uh, she shouldn't have had the baby in the first place. I said, okay, you don't even know whether she was she raped. She must die. You don't even wait, know. Wait. Wait. I don't even. You don't even know she was raped. You don't even know what the circumstances is. Plus, you say in your social media, things change in social media. Mm. I can send a post now, it can send out of context and anything. Like this video can send out of context. What we're talking about, salesmen can send out of context. 100%. You understand what I mean? Mm. She must die and he's a cake. But anyway, carry yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> carry on. Because carry on. you get what I mean. Like, 100%. It's wrong. To, it's wrong. To shade on social wrong. media and mm. plus to you vilifying the, the child. Right. By sharing that post, mm. it's a private. The, the child's gonna grow up, right? The child's gonna grow up, knowing that everyone knows that the child was dependent on her parents. That's years ago we didn't have. If I grew up as an orphan, I didn't know how I became an orphan. Nobody knows shit, bro. Therefore, nothing held me back. I didn't know. I didn't feel like I was unwanted. I just knew I was an orphan. It's cause of love. Of technology and social media. Because people put their fucking views in every fucking shit that fucking doesn't fucking involve them. Everybody. Everybody now. I know people want to be people to know every single detail about their life. Yeah. So they can get views or whatever shit or whatever. What's happening in their life? Just leave them the fuck alone. Yeah. Leave people the fuck alone. Create new content. Create new content! Create new content, bro! Create new content! Create yeah. new content! Bro. No, but that's my point. Is <laughs> imagine if the mob kept, like, let me just finish up. Like, sorry, finish sorry, up sorry. on this, on yeah. this, on this, on this, on this topic. Yeah. Imagine the mob cop caught this lady without knowing the circumstances. It's just sick, reading a bro. social media post. Viciously burn her with a tire, right? No one deserves to lose their life because they made a decision. She could have aborted a child that's worse than me having a child of her, a child of her. Because I'm not for abortion. I've seen this. I've seen this one. I, don't, I give a fuck what everyone else say. No, 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 no. I give a fuck what everyone else There's something, uh, something totally different towards you, your topic. I've seen this uh, video on TikTok. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm on TikTok like, yeah. like maybe 18 hours yeah. of the day. So these two guys were caught for stealing. So these uh, security guys or police officers, they made these two guys, <laughs> these two bras, <laughs> slap each other. Did you see that shit? Bruh, it was so funny. And then funny. they kiss each other. Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that is so, so wrong, bro. I know it's funny, but it's wrong. You can't do that. But bro, oh, what about these? Hijackers who are killing people. <laughs> but still, bro. Ah, oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. So you're telling me it's right to, to violate his human rights, even though he violated human rights. We're not killing him, bro. So you wanna you wanna embarrass him because why? He hijacked you. So what? He killed uh, he killed one of my family members. So what do you wanna do to him? You wanna embarrass him a bit, bro? And put it on social media. Yes, yes. He killed. Uh, he killed someone close to you. Okay, fair enough. Hundred percent. That person is in the wrong. What right? would you be? He's an evil doer. Okay, he's a, he, that. That's not evil doer. He just did something wrong. For us, for us. Okay, I understand that. Right. Hundred percent. I understand what 100%. you're saying. Right. 100%. I understand you hate the person at the time, but understand that he. Imagine if you did something wrong. You got a mother, you got a sister, you got something else, you got this True. and that and that. True. And they gonna see that. <laughs> they gonna make him kiss a dog. <laughs> you made him kiss a dog too. That's so, that's so wrong. Bro, that's so bad. That's violating the human rights. That's not what our that's not okay, what our okay, okay, has. okay. True. But those videos that I saw those guys just came to like steal like simple stuff. Yeah. Came to steal like a wheelbarrow or a spade or something. Yeah. Hundred percent. He didn't. He didn't like literally kill somebody or hijack yeah. somebody. 
Because those who were like hijack somebody. They take him say to court or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yes. Those who get sentenced. Now, you don't there's no one in their right in their right sense of mind catches the person that's trying to steal something from the house, right? And fucking makes him kiss the dog. Yeah, true. Who the fuck does that? Some 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 person who's fucking sick in their head. Some satanic shit. But because you think you're gonna stand in front of God and gonna say, oh, because he did this year, and then I made him do this year. God will say, okay. God doesn't. Were you right? Yeah. Were you right with what you did? No. He did the wrong thing. Does it mean you you have the right to do the right uh, wrong thing as well? You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. I'm not sure the topic because whatever you said, this. You don't. On bro, you don't. Bro, you don't. If someone does me wrong, I can do the person wrong in defense. Mm. Right? I'm not saying I'm gonna do it like in, in this thing, but in self defense I can I can attack back. Mm. But I can't go the person took some material stuff from me and then he was gone and when I catch him like a couple of years later, I embarrass him and put him on social okay, you wanna do that, do that. Don't put him on social media. So sure. so sure. right. Got do that. Yeah. Don't embarrass the person yeah. on social media. Come on. But you wanted something, bro. Should have asked. That doesn't justify anything. I did not want to give. Let me ask you this. Time. Let me ask you this. Right. How many times have you given a beggar some care, some change? Too many times. How many times have you not given them and swallowed? I have not given. I have not given because them. Because maybe they they but, some drugs or something. But I have never swallowed. Okay. Suppose now you had a friend, right? There's a beggar in this area. Everyone hates this beggar in this area because he's on drugs or whatever the fuck it is, right? The guy's on drugs. He's depressed. He's fucking on drugs. You can't do fucking shit about that. Right? He's depressed. Truthfully speaking, I'm going to tell you a very a very true situation that happened yesterday. So after Yeah. You, after so you this, yes, sorry. if the if no one's gonna help him just because he's doing drugs and living on the street, what do you think the guy is gonna do? He's gonna do whatever it takes to survive, am I right? Yes. That's what poverty does to people. Desperation does to people. When you're done, I'm just I no, I'm done. I just made my point. You sure? Yeah. It's a depressed situation. Like depressed. He's doing drugs. He's doing he drugs needs a place to stay. Everything. Yeah. And now you chase the person away. Nobody because wants to help you. You feel like you're inferior. In, you in you superior to that person. No. Nobody, Nobody wants to help him. Fuck that. Nobody wants to help him. Everyone's equal. If you if you want to talk about equal rights, that's cool. Equal mm-hmm. rights. I'm 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 more up for equal rights. I'm not up for equality. <laughs> Got you. You know what I mean by that? Got you. Got you. I'm up for equal rights for everybody. I will treat everyone with the same respect that I treat you and I treat someone I meet in the street, a beggar, I treat a thief. I'll, even if I treat a thief and a thief never stole from me, I'll treat him with the same respect unless he says something bad to me. You understand? 100%. Just like as if you say something bad to me, I will treat you with a different uh, to, mm. tone of voice. Mm. You understand what I mean? Mm. Now, Equality is something different. Equality is you believe you deserve everything as everyone else who has worked hard and you haven't worked hard in your life. True. That's what equality means. True. About you. Very true. You understand? Very true. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. Because even in the eyes of the Lord, if you do things that are wrong, you're not gonna go to heaven, my boy. You're not gonna go to heaven. So how can you say anything that you do? You haven't worked a single day in your life, and you want that man's wealth, not and you help. believe that you need that man's wealth because you, 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 you is equal. I'm, e- I'm all for everyone's equal based on how you treat each other. But you have to work to attain your wealth. I was a poor man, and I was a rich man. I'll never go back to being poor again because the way they treat you when you're poor is very different from the way they treat you when you're rich. It's sicker. 
It's sick. You know the people that treat me when, when I was poor? They treated me shit. I don't talk to those people anymore, but those people message me. Mm-hmm. And I give a fuck about those people. It's sick. It's sick. Yeah, it's sick, bro. Yeah. And I, that is why, whenever you see me, you notice that whenever you are on with me, like if I see someone, even when, when I'm with you, I'm just like, hey, just let's say some clip. Just yeah. Just spend. And I'm like, God, you gave me a clip. And even even when I'm in the street and yeah. the bank just rocks up to me, he, he's afraid to come and ask me because I'm driving his car. Yeah. I'll roll down my window, maybe not full, because I don't know that he's going to steal my stuff on. I'll pull out a 10 rack. How many times have I pulled out a 10 rack? A 20 rack? And you've said, geez, that's yeah. too much. Yeah, 100%. And I'm like, no. I have said that because I wasn't so educated. But you mature. It. But, but time, now I'm like, okay. He's, he's, he's giving this guy a 50 bucks note on the office. Bro, every time I go to like the petrol tenants, I must give them at least a 5 rand or a 10 rand. If I don't have that, I'll give them a 20 rand. Yeah, sure. Alright, if I don't have, I'll apologize to them. I'll say, yeah, I'm yeah, so yeah. sorry. I don't have any change here. I don't even have cash with me right now. Next time I come back, I remember your face. I'll give you a better It's about time. humanity, bro. Yes. Humanity. I don't have to give the person the tip. You don't have to. But I'm saying I'm sorry because you know why? The man is working there. He's working there 12 hour shift. You understand what I mean? He's mm-hmm. cleaning my window. He doesn't have to clean my window. All he's there to do is fill my fucking window. Yeah. He's there to make sure that my vehicle runs safe so that I can drive and I can go to wherever I go safely. He, he is getting paid. He's for getting that. paid yeah. for that. Right? Yeah. Now, at the end of the day, if I treat him badly, he's still making sure that I'm going safe, am I right? That is why people call it a tip. You're tipping the person because of their good gratitude towards you. 100%. Exactly, you're tipping it. Yes. Now think about it like this now. The man is doing a safety tour. Mm. He is, he is. He's doing a safety you're tour. taking uh, your, your oil, your, your water, water, your tires. Your tire pressure, whether there's something wrong with the tire pressure, is cleaning your windows. I mean, bro, a simple thing like your tire pressure. Imagine you were driving on the toilet, your tire burst. Mm. And I've tire. had that. Hundred percent. I've had that experience. You've, you've had that. And like, I was driving on the road, and it was like, boom, my tire just explodes. Then mm. I'm like, whoa, whoa, this thing, that thing. Like I showed you how long I drove for. And I stopped in the side, of, and I stopped in the side of the road. I have a spit, I have a jack, right? No one stopped to help. Me. So I swell on to the other lane, right? And, and an old, an old uh, guy, an old man, stopped and helped me. And it's so lucky that I just knew this guy. And, and he stopped, he helped me out. He said, okay, follow me. And I drove on the other lane and went home. And then I, and then I got stuck again because... Yeah, but was, yeah. Yes, and I couldn't get up again. Yeah. But anyway, that was another story. But anyway, yeah. I think God put you in that situation so you could learn. What no, but I was, I was, I'm always a kind person. Like, I know, I know, I know. Like if you had to call me up, anybody calls me up for help. Mm-hmm. Anybody calls me up for help. I'd be like, trust me right now. Like, you call me for help. Even if you need cash to work. I only, if you, if you owed me from a long time, I'd ask you, okay, where's my cash? Right? Maybe I don't need it, but it's out of respect. You need to pay a little bit of time, my friends. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But if you need help, I'm not going to ask you if you don't have the cash. Where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my money? I'm going to do it for free. I've been that. Uh, I've been that. You understand? Uh, I'm going to give it to you. Because you know why? You're in, you in, you in help. You need. No. If you're in an emergency situation. Emergency situation. Yes. And you know me. It's not like someone that's randomly that doesn't know me just going to call me up and say, ah, I'm. I, I need money. you like yeah hundred percent. I don't know you. I yeah. know who the fuck you are. Yeah, like, sure. I'm not gonna help you if I don't know who the fuck you are. Maybe you know like I don't know you. Yeah, sure. Like I don't know what the fuck you're gonna use the money for. Mm. Like if I know you and I know you in, in trouble, like I've seen you around. You know what I mean? I yeah. know you. You like, know me personally. Not even personally, like I just know who sure, you are. Sure. You know what I mean? Mm. Not just some random person just calling me up and saying Hey, I need some help. Or someone messaging me randomly and just being like, Hey, you know what? I'm in fault. And then I knew from like fucking six years ago. 
No, fuck that. I'm not gonna help you. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. I've helped a lot of people in my life, bro. Yeah. I have I helped a lot of people in my life. Many people don't like to acknowledge it. Mm. But I've helped a lot of people in my life. I think uh, people generally don't like to acknowledge that. After, I really don't care, you know. I, it, you know it's not a service to them, it's a service to me and 100%. God. But, you know, after people have uh, made it in life, they be like, oh, fuck this guy. I don't give a shit about you. I know he helped me like last year. I don't, I don't give a fuck about it. Because I have made it now. And I do not need anybody now. Yeah. I do not need anybody's help now. And then you start adding, actually adding them to the people. That is the wrong way. That is the wrong way about it. Because you know why? One day you're going to fall on your feet again. And the only person that's going to help you is the person that helped you before. Same person. But then you treated him with the arrogance that you want to do. You think the person going to help you? Well, me, yes. Partially, maybe. I'm actually. I wouldn't. I'm actually like not sure whether I would help you. It more. depends on the situation of how I admit you was. Hundred percent. You know what I mean. Mm. I know a lot of people. There are probably about twenty people that I helped in my life. Yeah. That think they made it in life. Right? And yeah, probably about twenty people that think they made it in life. Don't talk to me. Anymore doesn't even appreciate the help that I'm doing. Yeah, I don't care. I don't even mention their names. I'm just saying twenty people 100%. because I fluctuate in the numbers. It could be more, could be less. Fluctuate in the numbers because I don't want to make it a thing. You understand? It's not me doing something so that I can get good service. Because doing it for myself, it, it, there's just something about giving. It helps your soul. It will help, bro. It just it helps, helps your soul, bro. So your much, soul. bro. It just helps your soul. Now, me, even when I borrow stuff, for me, for me, it's like an ethic for me. If I borrow from you, to pay it back, I would I make know you. sure I pay I know to you to send back. I know you, I know you. I'll I pay, know you. If I tell you I'll pay you this Saturday, I make sure to the cent I pay it back. I I won't, oh, I'll tell you, okay, I'm going to pay you uh, 200, I'm going to pay 200. I will never forget to pay. No. I will make sure I pay my debt. Mm. That is the type of person I am. Even though you will tell me, don't worry about it. I will give it to you regardless of the views thing. Because in my heart, I know I cannot be indebted to this person. I know you. Because that's how I am. You understand? Even uh, today, I went to Honcho's. Just before I could come see you. Honcho's. I shouldn't say the name. Shouldn't, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, brand anyway. So, uh, I think the same guy that you gave... Uh, couple bucks to yeah the same guy he came up to me like hey, or something like so I had my uh, sales money of whatever I've sold today like so I'm like thinking hey, if I'm gonna guy give this guy like a hey, tender uh, now I'm gonna lose it on, on my sales I'm like hey geez, he gave you so money can you just help him out too yes let me be kind towards it yeah I took it like uh, something yeah, and I gave it to her. You are so happy, with that. yeah. You're so happy. You know why? At it's the so end of the day, that. you so think happy. about it like this you had a good day. That you person may day. have not had a good day. You didn't have nothing, maybe today. Today, maybe you never had yeah. eaten today. Yeah, you didn't even a great service to just to see his smile on his face. The money that I gave him, maybe, is the only money that he had today. Yeah, 100%. Exactly. Now, it doesn't mean that. Tomorrow you won't make money. That means you have to work harder so you can make other people smile. There's just something about helping other people. Mm, sure. I mean, you have more than enough. It's something about that you sold. Yeah, you know, yeah. you made from your sales mm. today. You have more than enough. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? You have your own business. You make more than enough just for the day. Just pay a little to someone who doesn't have that much. <clears throat> That, 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 that's the way I think. I don't know. Some people are just like... I try to teach as many of my friends as possible that way. Mm. Regardless, even if the person is smoking, and I know the person is smoking, it's not my duty to think, hey, this person is going to use my money to smoke. No, fuck that. Because you know what? I gave him the money. Regardless whether he smokes with it or not, 
I did my duty as a human being to help another human being. Regardless what he does with it, that's his sin. That's his endeavor. My my great gracefulness, I gave him my uh, my money, no, food, whatever the case it is. We understand what you say. I don't need to worry what action he does with it. You don't need to. If you do that, then it's not it's not giving. You have done your your good deed. Yes. You have done your good deed because it's it's, it's nothing it's, more. It's like that. in the sense like when you give offering to I'm just to give you an example. You give offering to church. Do you ask the pastor what he did with the money? <laughs> never ever. You understand what I mean? Never ever. You don't ask the pastor what you, he did with the money. So why you should I ask the man what, whether he's going to use it for drugs or what he should do with his money? True. I'm giving him an offering. Mm. You know what I mean? You never. It's well. the exact same thing. Yes, yes, yes. Why do I have a double standard when it comes to someone who's Thing, you know who's who's in church and who's not in church. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Why do I have a double stand? I don't have a double stand. Hundred percent. Understand? I don't have to worry about what the fuck that person is doing with that money. Mm. I did my duty as well. You did your duty. Even if he goes and spend that whole hundred rand on drugs, you have done your duty as a human being. Being. Yes. It's not that I'm supporting his hundred percent. I'm support. I gave him with the good intentions. You think about it and say, okay. You don't know that he has a drug addiction or whatever. Everyone is. You don't know. Everyone. Hundred percent. Yes. 100%. You're not seeing the person that's in a drug. Bro, so so many like uh, beggars or whatever don't even do drugs. None of them even do like alcohol. Bro. Some of them are just like honest like <laughs> beggars who just need to like eat food. How do you judge people like that? You can't. You can't judge people like that. It's just wrong. Hundred percent. And it's especially hard, in this time here yeah, with, with COVID and everything, you know how difficult it is. It's actually it's actually very difficult. It's very difficult because there's no one in the streets anymore, and you're just sitting there all alone. And then, just think about that. What if I was in that situation? That mm-hmm. I put myself in that situation. Hundred percent. You put yourself in that specific situation. And even if he is doing drugs, mm-hmm. imagine if he didn't take that drugs. It would have put him into withdrawal symptoms. How would that put have made him feel when he doesn't have food, he doesn't have water to treat himself, everything. He doesn't have a bathroom to take care of himself. He doesn't have a comfortable place to sleep. How would the withdrawal symptoms attack him? I feel like you, you are going you to die. You understand what I mean? Yeah. You feel like you're going to you're die. You're gonna die. Yeah. Like I don't want that man to feel like that. Yeah, true. True. It's better that he just uses it whatever he needs to use it, just just to get his mind off the fact that he is, you know what? Hundred percent. Otherwise, if I do if, if just I'm not saying I wouldn't do it, or this is a justification of why I wouldn't do it, but suppose I didn't give him the money, or no one gave him that day. What would the man do? He would do everything in his possible to eat, isn't? It? That's when, that's when you get thieves, you get robbers, people stealing purses. Why? Because they want to eat. They want to find some money to eat. Yeah. It's not. Nobody just suddenly just thinks, okay, let's just hijack or steal this person's purse for fun. It's a heavy situation. You understand? It's a heavy situation. Crime is not a fun thing to do. Nobody wants to choose a line of crime. I'm sure these guys who uh, who are like robbing the cash money also, uh, what's this thing called? This fidelity tax. You know why? Because they have a record previously when they were poor that they had to do stuff so they have a record of these things. So they can't get a job. So then they have to join gangs and get stuff and get stuff. Because if they do one of those, then they don't have to do it for like the next six, seven, eight, seven, nine, nine months, whatever. And then they do it again. It's heavy, it's heavy. I know it's heavy, but think about it. If you eradicate the poverty in this country, then we wouldn't have crime. We would have less crime. We wouldn't have crime. That's the thing I'm telling you. If everyone had a home, you wouldn't have crime. And had everyone had a job, you wouldn't have crime. Hundred percent. Yeah, true. You would have you would have mis- mischievous uh, actions, like people doing stupid things. Stupid things. Yeah. And getting sure. stupid yeah, things. Yes, yes. Like fighting yes. and and you know, not people just randomly walking up to you and just pulling your bag on anyway. 
Up here, trying to trying to trying to trying to, trying to rob you and stuff. Yeah. I understand it's traumatic to rob me. I've got robbed. You've got robbed before. If we had to eradicate that that part of it, we wouldn't have that. We would have a, like a fight where we could just walk away. We have a choice to walk away. We're not gonna close this podcast. No, we're not. We're not. We're not.